Hello, my beautiful people. This is Anna Sharif again. My brother and sister, and this is Anna Sharif again. So today I'm going to um, talk about the day leading to the day before January 6th. You know, I used to have write everything down because there were no reporters in the eastern part of Freetown. I'm going to say that. There were no one reporting on the horror that we went through in the eastern part of Freetown. The event leading to January 6th, there were no reporters. There were no government. There were no soldiers. There were no, even the Kamajos were not there. Only the rebels. We were living with the rebels. They harassed us, murdered us, raped us, raped girls, raped women, murdered men who were against them. Anybody who was against them, you're killed. They amputated millions, thousands of people. You know, so the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm sharing this story is because of the, the event that is taking place in McKinney. You know, where they the, the want to question the previous president and um, you have um, citizens, you know, riot, rioting and, and preventing government officials from doing their job. My brother and sister, the woman are the, woman are the protest. We are doing peacefully. We are the Nigeria. Nigeria is in turmoil right now. However, the citizens are demonstrating peacefully for a better Nigeria. And if we want to demonstrate in Sierra Leone, we should do it peacefully for a better Sierra Leone. As young people, as youth who want good life, you need to do something good. If you're going to demonstrate, demonstrate for a better life, not for a politician. Because they did not just accuse anybody if they were not involved in corruption. If you say you were not involved in corruption, you got to go prove yourself. Someone get accused and someone defend themselves. That is what happened. Every country get law and order. Every country need to follow law and order. Nobody know they above the law, my beautiful people. Una where they fed Sona Makin. Una where they cost mami cost. Una where they say... Uh, um, they're not going to go talk to the power. My brother and sister, nobody know they're above the law. I don't care whether you don't be president before, whether you're not president right now, whether you're not be ex-president or minister, whoever. It don't matter. We not know they're above the law of any of the country will belong and any other country will be. You got to follow rules and regulations. And as a government who was in power, if you have been accused, you know the law Una sabi the law. If they don't accuse the pre previous government, una will be don't rule the country. Una da now una be they set the laws them. Una need for at least follow the law. We should not be inciting violence. We should not be um um uh, uh, um setting people up to fight amongst themselves. We should not be setting people up to fight against previous government. We're not supposed to do that. So now make are they are they start with the the the, the reason why I do this. And now they're going to the story. So, you know, Calbaton de Nahil, right? You did down, you did up in the sea down. The day before January 6th, them born house them, houses them. You know, then story house them. You did see them down. You did see fire don't catch para. Then Kana we all study. You know, every day them they come anyway. But when they they can't take, they, 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 they loot, then they look for young girls, then for rape, you know. Then they put hot water up and people them. Then they cut people their hand and cut people their foot them. They do everything. So my own reason why they do this. Now make a start to do this program for inspire, encourage, and bring to light waiting they happen now with communities them. Culturally, morally, we got to bring the all come to light. Things the way they happy inside fam eh, 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 with families the way nobody know want to talk about because of. This culture of silence all day. So now they make a decide for do this. So that day then they burn house them. Would they burn tire? Would they sing and dance? Oh, they said we should sing and dance for them. Our saviors are here. These are the rebels I'm talking about. Our saviors are here. They are here to save us. We should beat drums. We should burn tires. Sing and dance for them. We are we were supposed to be grateful. We we're supposed to be happy. Why we have a gun to our head. So, una young, the way we are soon, una young, the way we are soon, 
Some of them are old cuts that the same cuts that's what they use for cuts we hand them. Cuts people they hand them. When I make some of them, them people the way don't get the way they hand them, you don't cut them, foot them, cut. Then go they look on they, 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 I don't know how they would they feel right now. My brother and sister then we can't enough for poll again for no politician. The car don't talk come. If we're not going to Rwanda right now, I'm not going to say Rwanda don't go through war. We for work towards building our country right now, not to fight for politicians. Politicians are ungrateful anyway. We don't want to vote in any did one. So, um, I think it was January 4th or 5th. Every day was a horror anyway. Every day was a traumatic event. Every day there is bullet, there is gunshot, they are fighting with somebody. But after they took Everybody out. They took Ekomog out. They took the Kamajos out. They took the soldiers. It was just them. So they were now fighting us, killing us. The, the you know, the hum, the the the, the 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 citizens who were unarmed. We couldn't fight for ourselves because they have guns. They have machete. They get cutlass. They get gun. They get all in the hand. So. When they came again, they raped, burn houses, came into a house, asked for money. You know, they started beating the boys in the neighborhood. The girls were kidnapped and taken. Like I said, it is only by the grace of God some of us are sitting here today talking to you guys. Because I was in the middle of that. You will never see this story of the story of January 6th. You will never see photos of them, nor will you see... Um, for those of us who were there, now would you read? We got to tell a story. This is what I'm, I'm encouraging those who witnessed what I'm talking about. Because this is purely my own experience. We need to come and share it. Social media is free now. Everybody comes to Facebook Live anyway. Share your story, my beautiful people. We got to remind people that we need to start building Sierra Leone instead of trying to destroy it again for politicians. We not go poor salon again, bo. We, you know, Sierra Leone is considered to have cocoa, diamond, rutai, bauxite, um, 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 uh, iron ore. But we are still considered the poorest country in the whole world, not just Africa. With all the resources that we we'll get, with all the minerals that we we'll get, then still consider we say we're not the poorest country in the whole world. Why? Because we get Lebanese then where they do, whether they smuggle with, with them on them. We get a, 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 a Chinese then now they, they can't take over. We have those Lebanese, we have the the, the 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 Chinese who are smuggling everything out of our country with the permission of some of these politicians. Anyway, I did a story about our passport being sold for seven thousand dollars. They don't even value that. So the the, the the whole system itself is corrupt. Why do we want, we as ordinary citizens, we as voters, why do we want to destroy our country again? After that war, after January 6th, why would we want to go back there? Rwanda have made their country as beautiful as it, it is. You will never recognize that Rwanda went through destruction. They went through war, tribal war. Tribal war cannot happen in Sierra Leone because we marry each other. We do marry each other. So, so we work together. We don't, we don't deny this country. They, they see the different country man, they would not, as long as not to the same tribe, then they don't even talk to themselves. They don't even speak because they are not from the same tribe. This is from other countries, I'm telling you. But Sierra Leoneans, when we meet at work, hey, the Creole runs through our mouth. We talk, we work together. I don't say about that, no, they will trust me by that day. However, we will speak. Pick that you, you will, will work together. So, my beautiful people, January 6th came. Hmm. It was hot that day. Now, this is January 6th event. Hot, hot, hot. That was the most horrific day in my life, in the life of my family. You know, I was giving my son a bath, a bath but it was, it was a very hot day that day for some reason the weather was really warm and um you know my head was down giving this boy back and we, i kept seeing reflections but with those reflections came noise people screaming yelling running when i lift my head up 
I saw people the flooding down because the area where we used to live, Kagba Town, was on top of a hill. But there is still Kuntolo, and another place called Kuntolo, where you you know they are running down, coming down to us. The rebels had the, the reflection I was seeing was brown new machete. Machete. They were, when they were chasing people, they were cut, cutting their limbs on the way. They used to ask long sleeve or short sleeve. If you want, if you say long sleeve, they cut your hand right here. If you say short sleeve, they cut your hand right here. You know, they cut your limbs. So, when eh, 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 they say they go back to work, when they go back to work, Makeni, when I know, please, my brothers, them. When I not take this in any way, my brother and sister, them. But do ya, would they remind you, say, when I get for go back to work, when I not do this. When I all cut last now, na hand, when I hold stick them, when I they prevent government officials them for do their job. Now, me could they remind you, now we were witness January 6th, now they tell you, so. So, when we don't see this, this reflection, who they fix in a mirror, not to be mirror, a brand new cut last, where they can cut people, they hand, they bleed people, they head, they open. So, after, I, when we started running, I ran with this naked boy in my hand, my son, because I was giving him a, a bath, and I, I just ran. I used to uh, write a diary, I, I had a diary, and I used to write every event that used to happen before January 6th. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, my beautiful people, because I could have remembered everything. Uh, I could have given accurate description of everything. I'm giving accurate right now, but you will have had more because it's been too long. But when, when, when I started running with that naked boy, my, my son, you know, there, there was a river where we used to live and we crossed that river. The moment we crossed it, the boy fainted. I thought he was dead. I've already shared it. I thought he was dead. I was going to drop him because everybody was coming like a, you know, flood of people. People come and hit me on the back, but I was still standing there shaking my son. I did shake me, me picking. I feel said on that. I almost dropped him. And then I just felt somebody push me. It was one of my brother. -in -law. I fell on the boy. The boy started crying because I was going to leave him there. After I've checked his pulse, put my finger on his nose. And then he just grabbed the boy from me and we started running again. There was a house where um, I believe a lot of people were there. But everybody just sat there. I don't know why we all just sat. But before we sat, we saw, oh my God, I saw the most horrific thing that day. Where they, they split open this man's head. Father confused. The father was standing there. Confused. They don't split one boy head. It got last. The dad bit in Papa Tinapde. He don't know what he for. Do now pull she me them. We forget we self force in a moment. We pull she me and then begin to aid. I see somebody in score. I've seen someone score. When the rebel split his head open. The most, the most horrific day in our lives in January 6th. So those who said we're going back to war. We cannot go back to war. It, it, it is a traumatic event in our lives. The trauma that we went through affected me when I came here. I'll get to that. So, um, we left him there. On our way, we heard this cry. A man driving a pickup truck. The back was loaded with his family all dead. They shot at them where they were trying to escape. This man was crying in anguish. My, my God. We saw the sight of those people. In that pickup truck. Dead. His whole family was dead. Whole family they don't kill. Along the way we saw another woman holding the son's hand. They had already cut it. Where was in pain. Houses were lit on fire. They were burning houses. The smoke. We were filled with smoke. Just to escape. So we, we went all the way past Wellington, past um, uh, um, Locos, and we got to Ferry Junction. I'm going to stop there today. When we reach Ferry Junction, that is where I'm going to stop, and I'm going to continue with Ferry Junction in my next video. So thank you, my beautiful people, for watching. May God bless us all, and may God bless Sierra Leone, beautiful, beautiful country, beautiful people. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. It is free. The, the subscription button is right there. Thank you.